Hey beauties, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the one and only Clean Beauty Podcast. Did you know that in America, cosmetics are not regulated? Companies are free to add thousands of potentially harmful ingredients that personally cause me to have health problems. Hi, I'm the creator of Lashbinder and your host, Cassandra McClure. I've worked in the beauty industry worldwide for over 10 years as a wedding and celebrity makeup artist. Now, I'm on a mission to ban 1,500 ingredients by advocating for cleaner and greener cosmetics. Join me every Monday right here for a new episode on the clean beauty revolution. This episode is made possible by our official sponsor, Lashbinder, the world's quickest, easiest, and safest way to apply strip lashes. If you've ever tried applying lashes, you've used your fingers, which is unsanitary and difficult, a pair of tweezers, which is dangerous, or you've tried lash extensions, which can be expensive, damaging, and time-consuming. Lash Binder is a discreet applicator that'll have your lashes on securely in under a minute anywhere in the world. Get a lash starter kit today at lashbinder.com with the code Clean Beauty Podcast for 25% off. Happy lashing! Hello, hello, Cassandra McClure here with a bonus episode of the Clean Beauty Podcast. I am here today to talk to you all about Kickstarter and my Kickstarter in particular. So I launched Lashbinder in March of 2019. It has been such an amazing journey. We just hit our six month mark and we've done all sorts of shows. We've been in press. We have sold lash binders all over the country and different parts of the world. And one thing that we often get asked is, you know, what's next? Do you have lashes to go with these? Do you have glue? And originally, uh, I did want to start a glue, but Uh, We decided that instead of getting funding, you know, I live in Silicon Valley. It's easy to walk in. I wouldn't say it's easy, but I have opportunities that I could take really easily. I could take money. But to me, that's the easy way out. I feel like crowdfunding, like I want to do it, whether I do it once or do it multiple times. And anyways, what you guys are going to get out of this episode is really my story Uh, You're going to get some insight into Kickstarter. Maybe you'll learn some things you didn't know. And you'll also get some kind of insight into uh, what's next and and what what we have in store. So if you didn't know that our Kickstarter is live right now, we have 20 backers so far with about 15 days to go. We're about $750 uh, pledged right now. Uh, of our five thousand dollar goal, which is which is quite low. We've only been uh, online for about two days doing this, and so it's good. It's over ten percent, but um, we didn't know what what to expect or what was going to happen. Uh, but we did a lot, a lot, a lot of research, and we were looking at Kickstarter from the very beginning. Uh, and then about a month or two ago, we decided to kind of start really looking into it, researching into how it works, what we should be doing, what we should be posting and all of that stuff. And um, I have got to say that even after launching, there were so many questions that I didn't have before because I didn't launch yet that I had to go back to the drawing board. Um, But I always, always remind myself that if I launch something and it's not ready, that's a good thing rather than having it be perfect because that means I waited too long. And so I never kicked myself or put myself down anymore for that. Like I didn't know the best title. I didn't know the best subtitle. I didn't know the best images or the best uh, videos to put up. I was just really conflicted on what we should be portraying and I've changed those things. And so, and there's no shame in that. I think there is, um, you know, it's a, it's a learning experience. So I will say that right off the bat, you know, originally 
we had different terminology and it may change again within our within our time frame here but right now it's titled lash binder lashes clean empowering and totally sustainable and our subheader is this limited edition lash collection is vegan cruelty free and created to empower girl bosses everywhere now i'm going to get into what exactly that means because I know that that sounds like we already have the Lash Collection. It's already out. It's already here, It, but it's not. The whole point of a Kickstarter is to fund and back a, a, a project. And, uh, you know, there's different funds that go to different parts of this business. I have an intern. Uh, we have ads and uh, different campaigns going on. We have uh, all sorts of administration tasks and, and fees, and we also have – uh, we're looking to bring on someone to help us a little bit more with PR, but really we're looking to push this Lash Collab and make it um, the coolest uh, vegan cruelty-free Lash Collection ever. And it is limited edition, so there's only going to be a 1,000 pairs of lashes. There's going to be 10 styles. So a style is a, a, the shape of the lash, the, the length of the lash, the thickness of the lash, right? And there's... Um, a hundred of, of each one, right? So there's 10 styles, a hundred each, and they're named different things. One of them is called CEO with a C H E or sorry, S H E dot E dot O C E O. Very fun. We were looking to really create fun, empowering, um, names. And, you know, I developed the tool, uh, as a, as a makeup artist, to make lash application easier and safer and quicker. But uh, it's come to my attention that it is still not the safest way uh, when using the lash styles that are currently on the market. And the problem with this is that you have to touch the lashes, you have to peel them off, you have to um, still use your fingers and touch them and all of that. That's a problem because if you are a makeup artist, you're now your unsanitary, dirty hands are going, you know, near this person's eye. If you are at home, you know, that means that all the makeup you just put on because lashes is the last step to most of our routines, unless you're just putting lashes on. But either way, like how clean are our hands, right? We want to be as sanitary as possible around our eyes to avoid infection or even irritation. So what I decided to do was not only create a faux mink vegan cruelty-free lash collection, uh, but make it designed to work exclusively with the lash binder tool, which has never been done before. This is a new idea. Uh, it is, I guess you could call it an invention. Um, and the strip lash line is limited edition. It's a collaboration. And the way that we are empowering another woman right off the bat, her name's Lisbeth, and she has a company called Stargirl Cosmetics. And when I met her, I was really excited to talk to talk with her because she had some some powders, some glow powder. She's a vegan, cruelty free makeup company local to the Bay Area, uh, out of San or out of um, yeah, out of the Bay Area, and she is only eighteen years old, which was very inspiring because I'm like, okay, I'm thirty, I'm doing this brand, I'm launching this thing, and she's over here selling out uh, product lines of of product and. Uh, yes, some of them are, uh, you know, they're private label, but she creates the um, packaging. She does collabs with other people. And she's kind of like a younger me because I've always been the creative collaboration community over competition mindset. I haven't really ever wanted to compete with anybody, not because I didn't want to lose, but because I feel like there's enough to go around for everyone. And uh, I was I was so honored when she offered to do a collab and uh, we decided to split 500 lashes each, each name five styles. And uh, I thought, you know what, we need to uh, get some backing because we were talking about our funds. And, you know, we, we, we thought that we might have to push out the launch for quite a while. She I mean, she loves the tool. She's also a, a makeup I wouldn't call her a makeup artist, but she's a makeup influencer. Like she does her makeup amazing. And, uh, you know, she was like, you know, the, the lashes are great, but you know, like they don't 
lash binder can't just pick up a lash off the box. You do have to take the lashes off, which is an extra step. It's extra time. And when I say quickest, easiest, and safest way to apply lashes, I want that to be even truer. I want to, I want to, you know, change the game. And so, um, Kickstarter was born, you know, we, um, we really, really, really wanted something big, uh, to happen. And I'm really excited because Boxy Charm is on our side. We got BC in session. They are um they're supporting us right now. They just came out with a campaign today. And we have other different companies that have backed the Kickstarter um like Kick Track and Backer Kick and different things. And I'm already I'm so blessed to have Beauty in the Vlog, Erica Vieira and like big names uh, that have been coming out of the woodwork sharing this. And I get emotional because it's so amazing. I really, really appreciate everyone. Um, I'm, I'm, it's crazy. It's so crazy how everything's happening. Um, cause I've been complaining that everything's going really slow, but actually, um, it's happening. It's all happening very fast. And, um, I didn't know I was going to cry, but, um, it's it's good it's a good thing and so we ha- I'm working with this wonderful woman Anne Marie she's been with me almost since the beginning of Lashbinder and it's fr- she is just I, I, she I tell her she's my angel because no one else has has done the kinds of thought um uh not thought uh it's they're so thoughtful things that she does that she expects nothing in return. She's the most giving person I've ever met. And Anne-Marie, if you're listening, thank you so much. Um, But, you know, I've done some collabs and you know what? It led, because I was so open to collaborating with other brands, I'm going to say part of the success was from that. iMemo was one of them. A wonderful woman, another Bay Area artist. And that's on there because I want people to see on Kickstarter that this didn't happen overnight, that we've been working on this for a long time, and that there's other items within that we're giving away. So pledging has been a really fun thing that we have integrated into Kickstarter. So what a Kickstarter really is and what it does is you can make a pledge. If you've never used it before, this this is for you. So you can make a pledge without a reward. A pledge is like you can donate basically a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars, a million dollars. And um, you'll get a little notification on your phone or on whatever your PC that you're on that says, uh, you know, thank you. Your pledge brings this project one step closer. The project, if the project reaches the full goal, your card will be charged on September 6th, which is, which is when 2019, which is when our campaign is ending. Uh, and it says, check your email. But, uh, if you, let's say pledge $50, you actually get that return to you if, if the Kickstarter is not met. So if you are trying to be uh, supportive of a brand, you know, uh, you might not think that your dollar will get anywhere and you might think your hundred dollars might, might take them somewhere, but you never know. So Kickstarter is a great place to just, uh, give and give to things that you know what it's going to. And so it's something that you can really feel good about doing, especially if you can, um, get a pledge for a certain item. So you can do it without a reward, but a reward is really little goodies that the company can offer. We have some really cool rewards. So one of them is um, uh, we follow you on Instagram for $3, right? And and it benefits us and it benefits you, but that's just a fun one. We Or $10. We, we personally thank you and tag you on our Facebook page. Again, it benefits us and benefits you because now your audience is seeing us. We're really trying to do things that would benefit both parties uh, because we are so new. We're only six months old and we're really trying to make it. So um, if you pledge $15, we put a thank you video on our Instagram story. I will personally thank you. $20 or more is two pair of natural hair eyelashes. These are not the eyelashes that are coming out. These are the ones um, that we that we have already on our website. Um, if you pledge $25, you'll be the first to receive the new eyelashes. So the limited edition collection, you'll be the first one to receive them. If you pledge $30, you'll get a signed lash binder from me. $50, you get a starter kit, which is great because the uh, original starter kit on our website is valued at $80. Uh, if you pledge 100 or more, you'll get a handwritten thank you ca- card in the mail from me. Uh, 
If you pledge two forty nine, you'll get a VIP invitation to our launch party. If you pledge three forty nine or more, you get five hundred in beauty products, uh, five hundred dollars worth of custom curated hair, skin, and nail products. So you'll let me know, hey, I have dark skin tone, my hair is really textured, and then I will custom create a gift box for you. Uh, if you pledge four forty nine, your name. You can name a lash style after you. You can name a lash style something empowering. Uh, but these will be 100 pairs of, Octo- of lashes that will, will launch in October. So um, you can get really creative and have fun with us. and Or you can have your name um, as one of the lash styles. Pledge $500 or more and get a feature on the Clean Beauty Podcast. This podcast you're listening to right now, you can advertise your service or your business. If you're listening to this and you think that you, your other friends or family or maybe potential clients are listening to the podcast, it's a great option because our uh, advertising options are 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 higher than this. So it's actually a really great deal. You'll get anywhere from 30 to 60 second ad and I do all the work for you. All you tell me is your name, your business, and I will just give you a shout out and say, hey, this person uh, at, you know, this wedding company uh, reached out, they pledged, you know, $500. I want to give them a personal thank you on the podcast. And then if you pledge $650 or more, you get 50% off lashbinder.com for an entire year. Even sale items are included in that. So that is an amazing deal. That means free products, y'all. If you pledge $750 or more, you get brunch with me in Palo Alto that includes champagne and all you can eat. Uh, I'm really excited about that one because I'm only uh, limiting that to 10 backers uh, and you it's valid for up to a year. Uh, pledge a thousand dollars or more and you get a year worth of lashes. So that's 52 pair of premium human hair eyelashes. You can choose one style or multiple styles. Very, very fun. If you pledge 2,500 or more, your name listed as a sponsor on lashbinder.com on the front page y'all for over a year. Okay. Uh, or up to a year, sorry, pledge 5,000 or more and you get my, your name or business on my car. So I have a BMW X1. It's a 2018. You're going to be able to have your business or your name or whatever slogan you want, as long as it's, um, approved by the DMV, uh, on my car. And I have, you know, I'm going to have my car for a while. So, uh, (laughs) definitely think about that. If you are that type of person and you want something really fun, um, a couple quotes that are my favorite that I want to share with you from other people, from customers that organically shared these in a a message or on a review. These are not paid or sponsored uh, or even asked for. Uh, But this woman, Amy Ryan Day, she, she said, I'm 53 and my arm is disabled. So applying lashes is nearly impossible, but I did it with Lash Binder. That was the most touching review that I've ever received to date. And it happened, I think in the first month that I launched and it gave me so much fuel and fire in my belly to keep going. She is one person that I think about all the time. So thank you, Amy, so much. Your review is up on our Kickstarter. Another one uh, that I'll read real quick is uh, Orly Love Gemma. She wrote, Lash Finder helped this mom get her lash game back. And I really didn't realize how amazing it would be for mothers and people that were on the go and, you know, cheerleaders, dancers. I've heard from so many parents that it's helped their their kids to put their lashes on for their dance class or recitals or ballet things. It's really been insane to hear the feedback from different people all over the world telling me the same thing. Like, I know that this tool is helping. I know that it is needed. And now we're in boutiques and salons and all sorts of stuff. And the lash pack that you can get, uh, like a starter kit, includes the lash binder, the um, glue, a scissor, and a lash bag. And these things will last you a long time. Oh, and lashes, of course. I'll send you a couple extra pair. And uh, it's it's something to think about. Even if you make the contribution, um, you know, there are going to be free goodies delivered in the mail with every single reward. And that's not listed or said on the site, but I'm just telling you guys because you guys are insiders. Um, I'm so grateful and thankful for every single dollar that has been contributed thus far. 
So on our, on our Kickstarter, you'll see some videos, you'll see some pictures of happy customers, you'll see reviews. Uh, I thought it was important to share the lash bars because I've worked so hard going all over the, all over the California landscape to, uh, to share there's Obi, you know, she has to do her little, her little hello. (laughs) She's wondering what I'm doing. Uh, so I've been to Renegade Craft Fair. I've been, you know, to different pop-ups at different boutiques. I've been to Cosmicon. I, I did Bottle Rock. I did Santana Row Fashion Show. I went to Aloft uh, in Santa Clara. I did all kinds of pop-ups. I mean, Bottle Rock was the biggest. It was such a great, um, thing. And, and after that, we started getting more reviews and, and amazing photos from people and just YouTubes. And so I put all those up there. Because I thought it was so, so important. If you can hear Obi snoring, I'm sorry. She's here. Uh, <laughs> but um, I wanted to tell you guys that this is creating a solution. We are here to stay. And, you know, like I said, just fund us and your money will get returned back if we don't hit our goal. But I'm not even putting my my energy in that space. I believe that we will hit our goal. And, um, you know... We are in the thick of it. This is a full-time job. And I know that a lot of people are are wondering. I was too. When my fiance told me, or, do you think you're ready? You know, and I was like, what do you mean? Like, of course I'm ready. I'm ready for everything. He goes, it's a full-time job. And I was like, why? Once you put up the Kickstarter, it like happens. But I quickly realized that over 75% of the backers are actually friends and family. And I don't mean you post this to your Facebook story and everyone donates. As we all know, it takes us several times to see something. It takes us maybe five or 10 times to hear or see something before we even consider it. So think about that. But I also realized that like, it's all about interpersonal, like emails and texts and phone calls. I have, I have combed through only about a quarter of my phone at this point. And I looked in my contacts and I don't know if about you, but if you have an iPhone, it's pretty incredible because I have people's phone numbers from years ago. And I was like, oh my God, they might know somebody, you know? And then people that I thought they're probably going to be annoyed that I'm calling them were like, I'll give you a hundred bucks, you know, like really surprising me. And no one has said, hey, you're spamming me. No one has said, hey, like I'm not interested. No one has ever said that. And I probably sent out about 750 messages to date. That's a rough estimate, but between um, Instagram, Facebook, and really the the messaging uh, app and uh, what's it called, uh, WhatsApp, and my iMessage, oh my goodness, I have sent out so many messages, maybe more than that. And I have uh, invested in Facebook and Instagram ads just to see where they go. We are getting so many clicks and hits, but it does not equal revenue. Again, it's just not a conversion type thing, so... Uh, it's, you know, but I've learned a lot already and, uh, you know, it, I, I did clear my schedule, but I didn't realize how much I would have to clear it. Meaning like even going to dinner is like a feat because I'm like away from the desk for an hour. And it's like, if someone has a question or someone is like talking to me or I'm posting, uh, or doing anything like that, like, it's just so crazy, um, because you want to be, uh, available 24 seven. And so I haven't slept a lot. I'm in my PJs constantly. And Nathan keeps saying that I'm yelling and I'm probably, I'm kind of am because I'm so amped up on coffee and I'm just like, and, and adrenaline because every, every time we get a pledge, it's like a little tiny dance party. Like I don't really have dance parties, but like, it's, it's a celebration. Like Anne Marie and I are, are jumping, are like, you know, jumping up and down over text message. Like we're freaking out. We're just so happy that we have another backer. And so it's so, so important. And, um, you know, understanding the analytics and the Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, like all of it is important, but, um, and just, I mean, the video is so important too. Like the video on our main page that I didn't even add till day two has gotten like, I don't know, a thousand hits already. 
And I wish it was connected to my YouTube page, but they, that's not allowed. It's like it just you have to upload the video just static. Um, but I mean, that means we're getting a lot of traction. Like people are considering it. People are looking at it. I'm getting a lot of congrats. I'm getting a lot of good job. I'm getting a lot of I'm sharing this. And we have. And I have probably reposted 60 or 70 shares from like big accounts, people that have 10 or 20 or 50,000 followers. Uh, but again, it's not equaling conversions. It's not equaling... Um, donations or uh, what they call pledges. And so uh, it goes a long way for you to share this, to show everything. I'm going to the spa show this weekend on Sunday. Uh, we'll have what, 12 days left at that point. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get some backers there, but it is, it is a lot. And I just, I wanted to come on. I wanted to thank all of you. I wanted to give you an update. Um, and I wanted to, you know, share the solution of these lashes because I feel like once these lashes are out there and once lash binder is is out there, it will be a no brainer. Like no one will ever want to put lashes on with tweezers again. And no one will ever want to buy the lashes that aren't designed to work with lash binder. And I already see lash binder being ripped off. I mean, knocked off. I mean, I don't even want to say that people are copying me. I feel like other people are maybe also seeing that the tool is useful and creating their own, which is great. You know, like, again, I am not about competition. Um, I'm surprised more big brands haven't done it yet, but at the end of the day, it's a safer way. And my whole whole like idea of being an educator and a makeup artist is to do things the clean, green, safe sanitary way. Like that is what an artist should be. They should embody all of those things. And I am 100% about just making sure that everyone is safe and sanitary and doing things the right way and not, and, you know, preventing, you know, protecting their eyesight and protecting their business. Because if you're a makeup artist or you are at a, a show, let's just say you have you know, there's so many situations, but, uh, I always think of the little girls who are putting lashes on each other and they're like 12 or 13 and they have to wear lashes for their dances, uh, for their, for their performances and stuff. You know, think about one little girl, like putting lashes on her best friend and poking her eye out and changing her life forever. Like the, the guilt that that other girl will live with. It's just, it's, if we, there's a solution here. And I know a lot of people have been saying, oh my God, my friend has a little salon. My friend has a store. My friend has this, like, can I buy them wholesale? It's like, yes, we have wholesale kits. We have packages. We have all of that. And if you're listening this far, you're obviously interested. And I know that you can help everybody can, whether it's on Kickstarter or getting us into a store or connecting us with the, with an investor or an angel investor. Like I don't want to give away my company, you know, but I do, uh, we do need funding. We do, but really it's not about funding. It's about sales to keep this thing going. So thank you all so much. I hope that gives a good, like cool little update. I'll definitely post this up on, uh, our Kickstarter. And anyways, thank you all so much. Let me just check real quick. If we got any more backers, um, I think we're at seven fifty now, seven fifty four. Uh, awesome. So we're getting pledges all the time. We have 20 backers now. Um, thank you all so, so, so dang much. Much love. Peace. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Clean Beauty Podcast. I'm so thankful for your support that I decided to start giving away $500 in custom curated clean beauty products each month. Do you want to win? Share why you love listening in a review on iTunes. Then screenshot that review and share it on your Instagram feed with the hashtag ban1500. If you've already reviewed the podcast and still want to win, just repost the giveaway from the Clean Beauty Podcast Instagram feed and you'll be re-entered to win in the next drawing. Good luck! For information on my tour schedule, upcoming events, press announcements, joining my clean beauty team, or to book me to speak at your next event, head over to my website, CassandraMcClure.com.